One of the most intriguing subjects in the scriptures is that of the remnant, the remnant. And it usually refers to a Jewish remnant who uh, returns to God in faith and belief and has the protective hand of God upon them. Isaiah speaks of it, <clears throat> for example, in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 21, he says, A remnant will return, and the word there is yashuv, return, it's, it's uh, very often translated repent. A remnant will repent, a remnant of Jacob will return to the mighty God. He goes on, verse 22, Though your people, O Israel, be like the sand by the sea, innumerable like the sand by the sea, only a remnant will return, will yashuv, will repent. So it's a pretty strong passage, and I say, obviously, it refers to the Jews in this case. And we learn from the New Testament uh, that uh, it, it, it may well include Gentiles in the end times. But Isaiah quotes, or uh, Paul quotes Isaiah in, in chapter 9 of the book of Romans. He says in 9.27, Isaiah cries out concerning Israel. Though the number of the Israelites be like the sand of the sea, what Isaiah says, only a remnant will be saved. Not return, not repent, but only a remnant will be saved. So that appears to be the uh, Holy Scripture's interpretation of Isaiah's prophecy. A remnant will be saved, and it's speaking, once again, in the context of the Jews. Uh, and as I read this, I was... Uh, putting this in the context of a video that I received just this week. It's a video by Leonard Cohen. And Leonard Cohen is the iconic poet, singer, songwriter uh, among the Jews. Uh, he's written a very popular one entitled Hallelujah. But this one is, um, he's 82 years old and it appears to be possibly even his swan song. We don't know. I don't know. He may live in another 20 years to write more. But it's entitled, uh, You Want It Darker. You, referring to God, want it darker. And he's addressing God. He's speaking to God concerning what God has done in the past and what he's evidently going to do in the future. And he's stating his response to what God has done. He's not looking at from God's viewpoint as to why he's done what he's done in the past and not explaining that. But he's looking at what God has done and he says it's been darker here's what he says here's the first couple of stanzas he says of God if you're the healer if you're the dealer I'm sorry if you're the dealer I'm out of the game if you're the healer it means I'm broken and lame if thine is the glory then mine must be the shame you want it darker we kill the flame, the flame of light, evidently. He goes on, magnified and sanctified be thy holy name, vilified and crucified in the human frame. A million candles burning for the help that never came. You want it darker. And then he says, Hineni, Hineni, that's the title of his of his video, Hineni, Hineni, that means I am, I'm here, here I am. That's what Abraham said when God confronted him as he was about to offer Isaac up as a sacrifice. God called him and Abraham says, Hineni, here I am. And then he says, I am ready, I am ready, Lord. I am ready, my Lord. So he's apparently uh, saying in spite of what God has done in the past and what he anticipates he may do in the future, that it will be darker. And certainly the scriptures say it's going to be increasingly dark, not only for the world, but, but for the Jews as well. But he is saying, Hineni, I'm ready, my Lord. He's ready. Now, I don't know his spiritual condition, but I know what the scripture says. I know what Jesus says. Jesus said this in John chapter 6, verse 45. Everyone who listens to the Father, Jesus said, everyone who listens to the Father comes to me. If you're listening to the Father, you will come to Jesus. That's what he said. John chapter 14, verse 6. I am the way, Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes into the Father. No one comes into the Father except through me. 
And then he says in John 18, verse 37, For I came into the world to testify to the truth, Jesus said. Everyone on the side of the truth listens to me. Everyone on the side of the truth, if you're on the side of the truth, you will hear, you will listen to Jesus. I don't know what the spiritual condition of Leonard Cohen is, as I say. But I know that if you have listened to Father, that you can come to Jesus, and you can say, Hineni, here I am. Here I am. I'm ready, my Lord, for whatever you have. Till next week, O Kiya Voshilo, or until Messiah comes, Yahweh, Yahweh bless you, bless those you love, bless those who love you.